Welcome back YouTube. Mutton Chop Piper here. All right. The last video was titled How to Rehydrate Pipe Tobacco, part one. This is part two. In that video, the first video, I showed you how to take totally dried out tobacco and put it into a container, fill a small cap that came from a milk jug or a water bottle with distilled water, wad up a coffee filter, dip it in till it soaks the water up, put it in the center of your tobacco in that container, put the lid on the container, then wait. I waited 24 hours, went back and checked it out. It was still a little bit crunchy, so I let it set for another 24 hours. So after 48 hours, it was finally rehydrated. So let's check our progress and let's see how we did. First of all, I want to remind you what unhydrated, dried out tobacco sounds like. Okay, so here it is. Hear that? Crunchy and nasty. Okay. So here is the container with our rehydrated tobacco. Carefully remove the lid. See there's the tobacco with the bottle cap and or the jug cap in the middle. You want to carefully take that cap out of the center of your tobacco. Set it aside. Then what I usually do is shake up the tobacco a little bit and I check it out. Okay, now I'm going to show you the difference between the, the dried out tobacco and the newly hydrated tobacco. So here we go. Now that, you don't hear any crunchiness at all. It's, I think it's perfect. It's at a perfect moisture level and ooh, it really smells good so I'm looking forward to smoking some of this alright now now what do we do you don't want to have to go through this again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna take the tobacco that we just rehydrated and put it into a canning jar now what I've done is something different than a lot of people with their canning jars is as you can see, I've got this white paint or something on the top of this canning jar. What that something is, is it is a dry erase sheet. They sell dry erase like a sheet of paper. And it's got a um, sticky backing. You just, cut it, you just cut it to size and then you adhere it to whatever surface you want. So I got um, a cutter that would make round circles. And I cut this out into a round circle and I adhered it to the top of this mason jar. So let me show you why I did that. Uh, let's take the newly hydrated tobacco and let's put it into our jar. Okay, let me try to be careful. I don't want to lose any of the tobacco. So, very slowly. And, whoops. Lost a little bit. We'll get it back. Lost a little bit here. Put it in there. there we go. Now, there's our rehydrated tobacco in our canning jar. Now, how do I know what's in here? Well, I'll show you exactly how I know what's in here. I'm going to go off camera and do something, and then I'm going to come back. So, while I'm gone, I encourage you to listen to this soothing music okay we're back there we are GLP Cairo I used this pin, which has got a fine tip on it, as you can see. 
And all I did was I took, this is a dry erase pen with a fine tip, and I just wrote GLP's Cairo. Now I'll do it a little bit better than that. I rushed it because of the video. Uh, but now you're probably going to ask, well, what happens if you use up all the tobacco? Are you going to use that jar only for Cairo, or can you put something else in it? Of course you can. You clean it, dry it, and watch this. It's going to be magic here. Whoosh goes away. Look at there. You just wipe it off. And then you put, put, you write down on the lid what's the new tobacco, what, man, I can't talk today, what tobacco you have currently in the jar. So now I'm going to go away again. Please enjoy the music while I'm gone. I'll be right back. Peace Cairo. There we go. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you learned something. Um, it worked fairly well. This this process worked fairly well, really well, matter of fact, on my Bob's Chocolate Flake, and it worked really good on this Cairo. So if uh, if you're ever looking for a way to rehydrate tobacco, this is it. Now. I have gotten some messages from people saying there is a, there's a, some, I've seen them, they're like little discs that have holes in them, you dunk them in water and then you put them into the tobacco and it's supposed to rehydrate it that way. But I don't know about you, but I, I wanted to have some fun. I wanted to actually touch the, the unhydrated tobacco and touch the rehydrated tobacco and say, wow, check that out. That's kind of cool. So you do, you do whichever way. You rehydrate your tobacco whatever way is best for you. I'm just I'm just giving you one option. All right. Until the next time, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing a video on next, but I'm almost positive it'll be informative. So until then, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.